At the National SMSF Conference, uh, we're going to be talking about estate planning in, in some of our topics. So Tracy, in your experience dealing with accountants mm. and financial planners throughout Australia, how many of them actually talk to their clients about estate planning matters in relation to their SMSF? Oh, Tony, um, the number is really quite low. It's actually almost embarrassing to say, but I think on average it's around about 5% of SMSFs have an effective estate plan in place when you actually So out of 600, 700,000 funds, yeah. we're talking about 35 thousand funds. Exactly, exactly. And I think that's why we're seeing so much uh, noise in this space around estate planning. And I think that estate planning is one of the biggest issues in the SMSF industry right now and will be for some time until we've got these effective plans in place. There's so much wealth sitting in the SMSFs and that's continuing to grow. And we need to make sure that we have everything in the right order to be able to deal with that on death of members. So isn't the easiest way to deal with this just completing a pro forma binding death benefit nomination that I've downloaded from my local deed supplier? Well, I don't think that we should have a pro forma binding death benefit nomination, Tony, because a, a pro forma binding death benefit nomination isn't going to be suitable in all cases. Think of a mum and dad, only members of the fund are mum and dad. Do we really need a binding death benefit nomination if the money's just going to pass to each other? Or do we need some discretion when we've got adult children and we need to be able to determine where the money goes? Right, okay, so, so your argument is not pro forma documents. Mm -hmm. So that means we need a checklist? We absolutely need a checklist and we need to have a really good understanding of what the considerations are uh, to work through to be able to know have we got an effective estate plan and this topic certainly will go through those considerations and will help us to build a checklist of what we need to consider. Okay, now what about, what about disputes? So we know that the litigation lawyers are hunting in this space because yes. it's relatively easy, yes. the money's there, documentation may be quite poor, yeah. so it's easy to find loopholes and, and areas for dispute. Um, What's happened in the recent past in relation to court cases? Well, I think it's about five cases in the last five years, Tony, around yeah. um, around the estate planning. And what we're seeing as a consistent theme, if you have a look at those cases, is the attack on documentation. We're really seeing problems with uh, invalid binding death benefit nominations or binding death benefit nominations that are not in line with the trust deed requirements. So we're really attacking the documentation. So documentation is crucial and we need to make sure we get the documentation right, hence the checklist of considerations so that we know what we looking at uh, when we're talking to our clients in the space. Okay, so for the 95% of funds that haven't addressed this mm -hmm. issue, this is a must-go-to session? Absolutely it is, absolutely. Right.